Hi there folks, uh, welcome back to another Shifty Mover video and uh, today we're going to have a look at the F-15 Strike Eagle and uh, the Terrain Following Radar Capability or TFR. Um, so I've got a mission here planned which has been designed specifically for this to demonstrate this. So we're currently down here at Ramid David. We're going to launch, follow a couple of waypoints to get us into the uh, valley we want to fly along using the terrain following radar which starts at waypoint 3. We've got waypoint 4 and 5 to assist us through the valley and then waypoint 6 is the target. Okay it's going to be a little bit longer than usual video to get all this done because I want to show you it step by step. First things we need to do is just set up the aircraft twos there. We need to set up the weapons, uh, make sure they are set correct. Weapons are good. Okay, we need to uh, select jettison fuel tank on button one and uh, then air to ground. We're going to be dropping these bombs on program one in C dip, ripple single. We've got a total of 14 bombs and we're going to interval those at 50 feet and nose tail armed okay bombs are set ready to go we're currently in nav mode and let's go parking brake So obviously I've set it at uh, just before dawn to make it a little bit more realistic. We've got some bad weather, low cloud, hence why we're using the terrain following radar to get to target. Let's see how it all goes. I say I'm not editing the video, the video is just live. Press record at the start, fly the mission, and press uh, stop recording and load up. So, none of this fancy video editing to get you some of the nice views, unfortunately. I don't like doing the editing side of it. <laughs> okay, we're on the runway. Quick check, flap set, uh, check trim. Trim button is here somewhere. There it is. Yeah, right. Okay, trim set. Yeah, right. Uh, let's ju quickly just jump into the back seat to make sure he is TGP on that on, and countermeasures are set to semi-auto. Back into the front seat. Let's uh, okay. Let's set up the camera so we can hear the whine of the. The engines when I accelerate. Uh, first thing first, I'm going to put the uh, landing, uh, the landing lights into landing mode. We're currently in taxi, so they're now in landing mode. Right. Okay. Let's uh, listen to it accelerate. <laughs> Beautiful. Hundred and forty, ease back the stick to about twelve degrees, gently, gently, gently. That was a little more than I'd like, but we're okay, didn't scrape the tail. Okay, gear up. Watching the speed build up. Flaps up. And Okay, into the cloud we go. And let's bring this back to um, nav mode. We're not going to engage terrain following it. I'm going to turn it, turn this on, but it's not engaged yet. I'm going to head to waypoint one first, climbing up through the cloud, retrimming the aircraft, continue turning to zero four nine, continue climbing till we just come through the cloud. Ease off the climb rate a little. We're in the cloud now. Okay, ease off the burners. trim the aircraft and we're just popping through the cloud here so we're now above the cloud layer turning towards uh, waypoint one waypoint one is 30 nautical miles on a heading of 042 okay there it is so I've got the aircraft up above the clouds we're going to engage the uh, nav 
autopilot. So I'm going to engage AP and we're going to put it into nav mode and altitude hold. There. Right. So now we're up above the clouds heading towards waypoint 1. The aircraft will fly itself. If you leave it in this mode, it'll just fly the route. However, we're going to disable the nav mode side of it and swap over to terrain following when we need it. Not just yet. So at waypoint 2, between waypoint 2 and 3, we're going to drop down. Like I say, waypoint 2 is here. Just, 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 just where the mountains start, waypoint three is here. So between these two, we're going to drop down. So at waypoint three, we're in terrain following mode along this valley here. The valley floor is at three thousand feet, and the cloud layer is set to three thousand feet. So we're not going to be able to see much. But as we come out the valley, the terrain falls away. So we will see uh, how low we've been flying <laughs> as we get to come out of the, come out of the clouds. Um, we, so we're going to be trusting the computers throughout uh, uh, through thri flying through that valley it's, it's, it is pretty impressive what they've done okay 20 miles let's give you some nice external shots this beautiful f15 we're carrying 14 snake eyes my favorite view And a flyby. Bit of ghosting there. We are flying in the uh, latest 2.9 patch. I am using the multi thread client. Okay, let's bring up that so you can see what I'm doing with the control. So, when we go over to the terrain following radar, the computer is controlling the altitude of the aircraft. I am actually steering it though from waypoint to waypoint. Okay, we've got 12 miles to waypoint 1. The aircraft will automatically turn. You'll see nothing happens to the controls in the bottom left corner of the screen. You w you'll see the, um, the white diamond won't move. The white diamond represents what I'm doing with the stick. The autopilot will do all the flying. Um, let's just have a look. Everything looks good. Eight miles to waypoint. Let's have another flyby. Why not? Shame about the lights ghosting. Yeah. Quick check in the back seat. Make sure the T pod is on and lasers on and countermeasures are set. Because I'm flying it in single player, the uh, AI doesn't always turn that on. Okay, three miles, the aircraft should automatically turn towards waypoint two. You should see the A nav change to two, and the aircraft will turn. In between waypoints one and two, we are going to prep the aircraft for combat, i.e. turn off the lights, turn on the master arm, and make sure our bombs are good to go. Okay, there's the aircraft making the turn. Nothing, nothing no stick movement. Okay, we've got 20 miles, so this at uh, this point is a good, uh, nice, uh, quiet moment in the flight to set up the aircraft for combat. So I'm going to turn on the master arm, I'm going to turn off all the lights, so we're tactical. Okay, light set, fenced in. Right, I'm not going to turn on the terrain following just yet. Oh, I haven't, uh, I don't know what this does, I'm going to set that to norm. Radar's on, and we've got three switches we need to turn on to enable the terrain following radar. We'll do that once we hit waypoint two. Okay, aircraft should level out and fly towards waypoint 2. The circle on the HUD is the uh, waypoint. And we're just going to bring up our weapons to make sure we are good. Okay, everything there is set, everything looks good. Uh, we're going to put it into air to ground mode and we should see our bomb fall line. Perfect. Now I can go back to terrain following, uh, which will be on this menu, is this one here. TF, terrain following radar. Currently it's not active, so we can't see anything. Sun's about to crest the horizon. 
11 miles uh, between waypoint 2 and 3 we're going to set up the aircraft for terrain following. The first thing I'm going to do is tell it to drop to 1,000 feet to within the terrain. I'm going to control the descent so that um, by the time we get to um, waypoint 3 we're down to about four or 500 feet above the, uh, above the ground and the aircraft will automatically hold that but we won't be able to see very much, so we're, we're relying on the uh, the aircraft systems to do all this for us. Mountains poking out through the clouds. We're going to be flying down a valley there, in between these two uh, mountains either side. Simulating flying low level to avoid radar detection. Uh, there is a radar out there, you'll see. It picks us up and then loses us. Hopefully. There it is. Right on cue. So there's a radar, fire control radar out there. It can see us, and then we'll drop down into the valley so it can't see us, and then we'll make our attack. It will pick, pick us up just before the attack. Okay, just about to hit the waypoint. Okay, aircraft will automatically turn to waypoint 3. Now, we've got 16 miles to set ourselves up for terrain following. The aircraft will automatically drop into the clouds, and I will steer the aircraft from that point. So, first thing I'm going to do is engage um, the terrain following radar, the system sensor on, and couple the radar. Okay, I'm now going to enable terrain following by disabling the autopilot and it's gone to terrain following. We're going to drop to within 1,000 feet of the ground. The radar here is doing all the work. And we just steer to the waypoints now. So you'll see left and right inputs to the stick. So the circle's ahead of me. I just keep the circle roughly ahead of us and the uh, terrain following radar is going to keep us currently at 1,000 feet above the ground. However, we need to get lower. So I'm just letting the aircraft settle itself, find where it is, and we are still five miles from this waypoint. I'm going to drop to 500 feet to now. So the aircraft's going to drop to 500 feet of the terrain. Once we hit this waypoint, I'll drop lower. Okay, one mile. Because then I know I'm in the valley. Okay, waypoints change. Need to turn heading to 037, and we're going to drop to 300 feet. Because I know I'm in the valley now. Turning towards the circle. And you can see how low we are. There's a little gap in the clouds here. Okay, heading towards waypoint. 26 miles in the valley. Currently flying at 300 feet above the ground. I'm going to drop to 200 feet. Low altitude. I'm going to change altitude. the low altitude warning to 200 uh, to 150 feet. Low altitude. Low altitude. Otherwise, the warning will continually go off. We're still in terrain following. APTF. So we're now flying, although you can't see it, at 200 feet above the ground at 500 knots in zero visibility, trusting entirely on the aircraft systems. And there you go, the aircraft's just popped up over a little lump of the terrain, because the valley floor is not perfectly flat, so it's going up and down following the terrain. You may catch glimpses of trees and buildings as we go past. As we approach waypoint 5, the um, 
the, the, the valley floor will drop down to about 2,600 feet and we will catch glimpses of the terrain there. But here we're in the, um, the, highest, the highest point of this valley, it's about 3,200 feet, so we're still in the cloud layer. It's absolutely fabulous. Okay, 10 miles to waypoint. See the aircraft's climbing here. It's detected some terrain ahead of us. The one thing it doesn't pick up is obviously large buildings, pylons. So if you're flying super low level, there is a chance you might collide with the building. Five miles to waypoint four. Waypoint five is the end of the valley. So we should have to uh, adjust course. And then when we come out the end of the valley, we're still gonna be low level, but the valley's gonna drop away into the plain and uh, we should be flying just below the cloud and be able to see the target and strike it. <laughs> you just occasionally catch a glimpse of something. Okay. One mile to turn point, or waypoint. Next waypoint, turning on to 25 miles to the end of the valley. Okay, double check master arm is on. We're good to go. The sun's coming up, it's getting lighter. Fly by view. <laughs> Can't see anything. Okay, we're going to drop the drop, drop tank, turn this to combat jettison, press once. That's the drop tank gone. Fifteen miles to the end of the valley. And we should start to see the ground more often. Notice the altitude is only 2,900 now, and we can start to see the ground. Target is at waypoint 6, not far from waypoint 5. Oh, there's a little lump there, aircraft just climbed. You just see trees and bushes rushing by. That's scary. Two miles to uh, waypoint. 2,600 feet and we can start to see the ground. We've been this low the whole time. <laughs> it's just the cloud is now disappearing. Okay, turn on to waypoint, which is the target. Turning on to target, we should have visibility when we get towards the target. It should be at around about 1,700 feet, so we should have visibility. As you can see, this is how low we've been the whole time. 
Ten miles to target. Weapons ready. I'm just going to turn on to target at about three miles. There's triple A, so I want to be in a slight turn. I don't want to be flying straight, otherwise that'll hit me. But as you can see, the terrain following radar is working absolutely fabulous. There's the triple A. Okay, turning on to target. Three miles. Turn at the last second. Turning. One mile. Triple A coming up. Bombs away. Breaking off. Bombs impact. Climbing up above the clouds. Disengaging autopilot. Disengaging radar. And away we go! Terrain following radar off. Waypoint to home. Waypoint, si waypoint 7. Waypoint 8. And mission complete. We struck the target. Demonstrating uh, the uh, the, low, the terrain following uh, radar of the F-60 F-15E. Can't speak at the minute. I'm just trying to. I'm just worrying about missiles coming up. And as you can see, it works absolutely fabulous. It's just, just fantastic. And uh, yeah, hope you found it useful, interesting, and thanks for joining me. Take care. Bye for now.